Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good tag, good night. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders, and our website is www.stochastic-bagdi.com. For all trade, we use the 5% money management rules and apply stop loss in all trades. This video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. This is very, very important. Today is the 13th of uh, June uh, 2014, and the time in London is uh, 14 minutes past 12 p.m. in New York, uh, 14 minutes past 7 a.m. The title of this video is uh, How to Use a Limit Order for Day Trading Like a Pro. How to Use a Limit Order for Day Trading Like a Pro. Alright, I want to show you quickly here, okay, this is a short video for educational purposes only. Please do not use this video to buy or sell, okay, uh, the dollar, Singapore dollar, okay, very, very important, alright. So, I want to talk about two market or two orders. One is the market orders, okay, the market order. Suppose we are here and I want to sell, okay, the dollar, Singapore dollar. If I want to sell it at a market uh, price, the current price, I will sell it at the current price. That's a market order, which means I will just go and sell it as it is now. Okay? This is a market order. Okay? But if I want to use a limit order, I will okay, choose a price that I like myself. Okay? So I will give the computers or my trading software, okay? ask your broker, so you place order, limit order here, say, okay, if the price goes to this point, I want to sell it, okay? That's a limit order, because at the time when you are placing the limit order, the price is not there yet, but you are requesting, okay, your broker to sell it at a specific price. That's a limit order to buy or a limit order to sell. There are other limit orders, but I want to focus on the limit order to buy and the limit order to sell. We will discuss also the advantage of using a limit order to buy or to sell uh, instead of using a market price. All right. I will also explain to you why is uh, more okay. Uh, It's more advantageous to, to, to use a limit order instead of using a market a price. All right. The limit order, one thing about the limit order, it allows traders to be patient. So you want to sell or you want to buy, okay? But you want to buy or sell as a specified. But you are not in a hurry, so you'll give orders to the computers to buy or to sell. All right. So you are patient, you are more relaxed. Sometimes you may place a limit order that is not filled at all. So suppose we were here, okay, and uh, I want to sell okay, the dollar, Singapore dollar. So I give a limit order here to sell at this specific price. But if the price changes direction here and start going down, I'm not in a trade because my order is not filled. All right? Now, but if you want to sell, you don't place it up. You place it below, all right? Remember that. If you want to place a limit order to sell, it's better to put it below. So you place it here and say, okay, I want to sell here. So if the price continues to go up, okay, you will be very happy that your order will not fill because if you sold it straight away at the market price and the price continues to go up all the way here, you may lose or you may be taken out of the trade. So if you want to sell with a limit order, you will place it below at a specific price where you want to sell it. Sometimes you will see that uh, the order will not be filled at all. But remember, I need to mention this to traders to remember that if you place a limit order, okay, to sell, and the order is not filled, you need to go back and cancel that limit order because if you forget, and one day, and you complete, you completely forget, 
And one day, the price comes back to that price, the order will be filled. This is very, very important. I need to say this again. If you place a limit order and the limit order is not filled, you need to go back and cancel it. Because if you forget, and the order will be filled later on if the price returns back to your specific price level. This is too important. And if you forget it, if you forget it, all right, run, run and cancel it, okay? Cancel it. So this is very, very important, okay? So let's get started, okay? Suppose we were here, okay? So we were here and the price uh, doing uh, all this blah, blah, blah. It's kind of consolidation here. And I, 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 I done my, follow my trading drill. I, I, I recognize, I identify a value setup. Okay, I receive a signal. Now I come to the 50 minute chart and I want to sell, okay? So do not forget, we want to use the trading deal, the trading triangle. We don't want to just do this on any time frame, okay? So I'm happy with everything else. Okay, now I'm ready to sell. Uh, instead of selling at a market price, <coughs> okay, I decided to, to place a limit order. But because I see what the price is doing here, I like this level, it's a resistance level, all right? Suppose, re repeat, this video is for educational purposes only, all right? So I will, for instance, place my uh, limit order below here while the price is still up here doing the blah, blah, blah. I may sit to the computer, place a limit order here and say, Okay, sell the dollar, Singapore dollar, at 12499. So I'll place my limit order, okay, and just wait patiently. And uh, as you can see, if the price was here before, as soon as it crosses this line, my order is filled. Sometimes the price may cross it, but the order may not fill, depending on your broker. So this is something else. I don't want to dwell on it. So. So if you cross it like this, your order is filled. Now you are in the trade, okay, which is great. The advantage of using the limit order, there is something else, apart from being patient and waiting for the price to come to you instead of you forcing it down. Because if you are selling it here, you are in fact forcing it down. So by using the limit order, okay, you are being patient and you want the price to come to you. One of the advantages of using the limit order is that you want other traders to sell first. So why the price comes down to fill your order is because other traders were selling. And these traders, you are using them as your protection. So traders that are selling above you here, forcing the price down to fill your orders, have their stop loss somewhere up here. Okay, you understand? They have their stop loss somewhere here. So you are not, you are not the only one selling, and also you are not the first person selling, and you are controlling the risk. That's the gorgeousness or the beauty of this uh, limit order. It makes sense? So remember, if you place a limit order and the limit order is not filled, what do you need to do? You need to quickly go and cancel it because if you forget and uh, the price return back to that specific level, uh, the, the price, the order will be filled. Okay? It makes sense? I don't want this video to be too long. I need to watch my time very carefully. I got another 10 minutes. All right? Okay, so we suppose we are here and the price consolidating here and we have done our verification. We locate a setup on a higher time frame or maybe we see a conversion point. Okay, it is a support level. We receive a signal. Now we come to the 50 minute chart, our entry time frame. We want to buy. Okay, instead of buying here because uh, this is a consolidation zone, all right, I may decide to use a limit order. All right, so I place my order here and say to the computer, this is a limit order. Okay, I'll say, okay, buy the, do the US dollar, Singapore dollar at 12491. So this order will not be filled until the price cross above it. I need to mention to trade that sometime, depending on the broker <laughs> and their software, sometimes the price may cross it, but your order may not be filled straight away. Sometimes it has to cross it many times before the order will be filled. But nowadays, most of the trading software are quite good and the order will be filled, all right? So you are very, very patient. You didn't buy it straight away at the market price, okay? Because if you buy it here, suppose you bought it here, all right? Or yes, you, you, you bought it here, okay? At the market price, not limit order, okay? You just buy, jump and buy it straight away, okay? And if the price continue to go down, you're under pressure. You may be taken out, you may lose, or you may have a stressful trade, all right? But this is the advantage of uh, using the limit order instead of, uh, okay, uh, 
uh, market uh, uh, order. Okay, sometime trader will go and use market order. They are watching the price. They are controlling it. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm just showing you here the advantage of using uh, okay limit order. I need to mention to traders that most professional day traders or swing traders use limit order instead of uh, okay market orders. There are two types of market participants. One group which we call the sophisticated market participant and the ordinary market participant. The highly sophisticated market participant will always buy at a specific price. They don't buy, they don't just come and buy, okay? They buy at a specific price. So these type of market participants are very, very disciplined. They use the same stop loss and they will say exactly which price they would like to buy. They don't just come and say, Okay, it's going to go up, I'll buy here, I'll buy there. That's why sometimes I say to you, if the price is about to go up, you'll see that you go down. Why? Because the price is going to a specific level where well, order are pi. You remember, when this is market stable data. If order is a pi here, this order will be filled. So very often the hedge funds, the banks, the big institutions, okay, the pension funds, they will buy at a specific price. But because these are big market participants, they have a lot of order placed at a specific price. All right? Specific price. Limit orders. And they want a price to go there to be filled. And they don't want to buy at a different price at all. They just want to buy exactly there or below that level. Or they want to sell exactly there or above that level. So when we are using a limit order to buy, the best place to place the limit order is above. All right. So remember, if you want to sell using the limit order, we must place it below. All right. But if you want to use it to buy, we must place it above. So if you you buy you buy here like this at the market price and the price is going down, you lose. But suppose you were wrong. Okay, you were wrong. You you, you want to buy it here. Okay, and you place your limit order here, which means the price is not here at that point in time, and the price went down. Your order is not filled. So you will see that, wow, I was wrong. I'm glad that my order is not filled. I was completely wrong. And uh, you just go and cancel your limit order. I recommend to TSCW24, TSCWSYZ, your traders, to use, uh, okay, the limit orders. All right? So remember, there is one group of market participants that are highly sophisticated market participants. They use limit orders. Another thing I need to mention to traders, so you enter the trade. What did I say to you? You use straight away, you set your target. You can also place a limit stop. So you will say, okay, I enter the trade here with a limit order. So suddenly the price comes, your order is filled. Okay, you set your stop loss, whichever tool you are using, depending on what type of trade. Are you using binary option? Are you using CFD? It's up to you. Are you a spread betting trader? Okay, so your order is filled now. So you will set also your target because sometimes the price can move fast and uh, you may miss an excellent opportunity. But you may place a limit order here and say, it says, this is what we call a stop order. So when the price goes up from here all the way here, I want the computer to close the trend and to grab my profit for me straight away. All right? So if the price goes all the way there, your order also will be, fee will, you, you'll be taken out of the trend and you, the computer will bank your profit for you. The same thing in the downtrend, you place a, a, a stop order here to take profit straight away. So you set your target, everything is ready, you can walk away, especially if you are working and you are trading and you don't have, you don't, you don't watch the, 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 the price all the time. Because sometimes traders that are not watching the market all the time, they may go away, all right, doing something else, all right, or they are working and the price, for instance, you buy here, and you didn't set a stop order here to take profit, and the price went up all day long, all right? All day long. But it's uh, not uh, uh, a training day. The price went up all the way very nicely, but you were not watching the price. And But uh, somewhere, as New York is open, the price comes up down, and again, you are taken out of the trade. As you come back from work, you notice that if I was here, I would have taken 100 pips, 150 pips, 90 pips, 10 pips, but because I was not watching the price and you did not set a stop, a limit stop order to take profit, okay, the price ran all the way here only to come back down again and to take you out of the trade. Ouch! You don't want that. Okay? You don't want that at all. You don't want it. It will affect you emotionally 
And uh, trading is all about the mind game. All right, you want to put the emotion to the side, use a trading system, a trading strategy, and okay, you remove the emotion out of uh, the market. That's why professional use okay a, a specific uh, trading tool. Okay, this is very important. So when I start day trading first, I consider myself like uh, okay uh, the worst day trader. Okay, I consider myself like very very unlucky. So this is happening to traders all the time. So suppose sometimes traders think that they are very very unlucky. Okay, do something about it. This is one example, one thing you can do to control them. So if you are a day trader. And you notice that any time you enter the train, the price is always get going against me. So you, you sell here, and the price went out, boom, 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 up, take you out first, and you are sweating, okay? So you are calling your mother to cry a bit, and before coming down. So you say, oh, I was wrong. So, I mean, in fact, you were right, because you were taken out, but the price finally went down. And you think that, I'm so unlucky. Why this is happening to me all the time? Use limit orders. So instead of selling straight away at the market orders using market price, you may place okay a limit order below here to sell, which means other traders are selling first, providing you like a kind of shield because they have their stop loss here. You are not also alone. You are not the first person selling, okay? And now your orders are filled. There is another disadvantage for using limit orders. Sometimes the limit orders will also force you to use a bigger a stop loss. You will see me sometimes in some of the live trading video. I sometimes sell straight away at a market price. The reason is that I don't want to take a bigger risk because by placing my uh, limit order here, I may have to put my stop loss probably up here, which will cost me more. So you have to wait and see whether this is uh, viable or not. But you have to see that uh, the advantage of using a limit order outweigh the disadvantage of using a limit order. Remember also that the sophisticated okay, market participants, the hedge fund, the banks, the pension fund, the mutual fund, okay, use a limit order. So you want to do like uh, okay, these uh, sophisticated market participants instead of using all the time okay, uh, a market price. You want to buy stock, you have to know exactly at which price you want to buy it. You want to buy a stock power level after following the trading deal or doing your verification on Google Pla on Go uh, Google Finance or Yahoo Finance, you want to buy for swing trading, for position trading, for investment, you want to know, okay, which price is suitable to buy this stock. You don't want to buy anyhow. The mistake that a lot of traders are making, sometimes you see them, people say, I want to buy, I want to buy, like here. I want to buy, I want to buy, I want to buy. So they will jump into it here and buy, only to see that the price will crash down and take them out because they buy at the wrong price and also at the wrong time. This is the advantage of using the, uh, the limit orders. But one thing I need to mention to traders, do not use this strategy anyhow. The best place to use the limit order is at a convergent point. Convergent signal are the best because you are about to enter the trade where one group of trade, uh, the both bulls and bears are doing exactly the same thing. If you want to know more about convergent trading, you need to go to www.stochastic-macd.com. All right, very, very beautiful. All right, very, very beautiful. So convergent signal on the trading on the edge, these are the best place to use the limit order. So you know that, okay, there's a high chance that the bullish momentum may be, will be increasing at this point in time because the bear are buying to close their position. The bulls also are joining them. Okay, the fundamental are solid. The market environment is suitable. You are ready to join them. Now you place the limit order. You, are called, you check also the risk reward ratio and you are in. I hope you have learned something from the video also, and we put it to use okay, to make excellent uh, trading decisions. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW, uh, 24 uh, traders. Speak to you soon.